Cat Mouth the BCS beat a 7-1 Louisville team stay unbeaten. Last time they went 9-0 was 1938. We've had a few of these close games. Three-point wins start against Tulane. Then it was Arizona, South Florida, and UAB. Two in September, two in October. Four of the eight wins by three. In the first, Rogers the handoff. And Corey, watch this block. One rush, one touchdown. Done for the game, 7-0 TCU. Third quarter, Louisville trailing 21-13. Stefan LaFour's arm had to hurt after this game. Threw 46 passes, hit on 31 of them. Cardinal within two. Louisville goes for the tie. LaFour's looking, looking, finding Smith in the end zone. Two-point conversion, good, 21 all. Later in the third, 24-21 TCU. Nate Smith lines up 22 yards away. And access denied, wide right. TCU still up by three. Fourth quarter, same score on a fourth down and three play. Brandon Hassel, Rogers, first down. TCU drive alive. It resulted in a touchdown. Ten points. Louisville field goal. Fake field goal. LaForce keeps it himself. Touchdown. They're back within three. Gutsy call by the Cardinal. Later in the fourth, 31-28. Nate Smith. We've seen a miss from 22, from 47, from 47. Oh, just pulls it. TCU still leading by three. Fourth and 15, 13 seconds to go. And LaForce finds Robert Haskins, who gets down inside the 30. They have time to spike the ball and set up a field goal. LaForce, 459 yards passing. Nate Smith, we've seen him miss two. A chance to tie from 44 yards away. Nate Smith from 44 yards out, and Nate Smith oh. hits the crossbar, and TCU survives. Gary Patterson of the Horn Frogs talks about the anxiety of the final play. I thought overtime, I was already thinking what we needed to do, you know, because he's a good kicker, and you know, he's missed a couple. The odds weren't in our favor, but the bottom line was, you know, we came up about three inches uh, ahead and not dealing uh, three points ahead. Well, another three-point victory. 31-28, TCU a victor, and LaForce has a huge game and a loss. So it's TCU and Oklahoma, both 9-0, both share the nation's longest winning streak, now 11 games. The comparisons can end right there. Top-ranked defense in Division I, Oklahoma's, and they're beating opponents by 31 per game. TCU giving up a lot more yards. Home team favored by a touchdown. Holtz, by the way, 0-2 in Little Rock since taking his coaching cap elsewhere. Arkansas has played the three longest games in NCAA history, and each time the Razors have come back and won their next game. Seven OTs at Kentucky. Next game, opening kickoff last game for 24 seniors in Little Rock. Not the start they wanted. Takee Muhammad Rock, Cedric Washington. South Carolina recovers, but they move the ball one yard and settle for a field goal. Three nothing later first. Converted wide receiver to Corey Birmingham. He's all about making the top 10 nominee list. 51 yards here. Oh, he doesn't look tired from 40 carries, 196 yards against the Wildcats on Saturday. He was a Wildcat, and here's why. You saw the two South Carolina defenders arrowed. They're thinking option. They thought wrong. Birmingham, he could run to Birmingham with that hole. 51 yards, 7-3. He had seven carries, 91 yards in the first half. Scary moment in the third. Demetrius Summers gets hit hard. The freshman running back down on the field. The trainers huddle around Summers. Had full use of his extremities. He was conscious, taken to a local hospital for precautionary x-rays. That's his mama, Jackie, and we're praying along with her. Preliminary x-rays were negative, and that is a positive. Later third quarter, big break for Arkansas. Matt Jones, he's going deep. That's an interception that wasn't. Ted Crawford doesn't get it. Richard Smith does it. Arkansas, 28-6. Oh, big suey! Colorado State, a small favorite to win at New Mexico. Both teams 2-2 two and two in conference. Second quarter, Don Trell Moore, 181 yards last year against the Rams. 242 in this game, a career high. Three touchdowns, 17 on the season. He's from Roswell. They needed an alien to stop him. Fourth quarter, New Mexico up a couple touchdowns. Bradley Van Pelt. David Anderson, it's a seven-point game. Van Pelt, he took a hard shot there, but the worst is yet to come. Three minutes to go, Van Pelt. Keeps it. Pat was good. We're tied at 34. Colorado State with a minute left, and Van Pelt right through his hands, and he can't get on it. New Mexico can. And then it was up to the Zunker. Wes Zunker. 
33 yards, his 13th straight successful field goal this season. New Mexico wins 37-34. A low bowl leap.